does this all come about? So, uh, this came about basically from uh, my granddad's model train set, um, where he had one of those huge train sets um, built up of everything you can imagine from houses, cars, tons of miniature figures um, that he had in, in his spare room. And uh, we brought it down one day and was taking pictures using an iPhone. Um, and what we kind of figured out was that looking at the little people from a completely different point of view, taking the iPhone and putting it down at the level of the little people, that you got a completely different perspective and the idea of what they were looking at. Um, whereas it was pretty boring, really, what they were looking at, being just standard cars, standard houses. We then decided to take it out, so I'd take some of these miniature people and their cars the back garden was basically the first uh, the first point for them and from then really it just escalated into this I mean the first picture I created was little people walking a taxidermy beetle on a beach in Canvey Island and uh, from then it's it's the the response from that basically um, and, and what has been the response because this was something that was a hobby but now I believe it, it's full time uh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, full time now. Um, since last April um, was when I was able to properly concentrate on doing this. Um, the response was slow to start with, just trying to sell bits and bobs on eBay. So I created a limited edition print um, and an installation which sold brilliantly. Um, I was really surprised basically by the starting something at 99 pence someone no one's ever heard of before and then uh, going from that creating the prints the prints sold well all 10 of them went within about a month just on ebay um, and from then really it's just gone on from there and it's just just driven me completely um, by that first reaction would you describe yourself as a surreal artist? Well, I get a bit confused with all these. Uh, <laughs> um, possibly, yeah, possibly. I think it it might be surreal, street, and photography, kind of all all rolled into one. Um, I'm probably more influenced by street art because that's what that influenced me to create something into a piece of art because I knew about limited edition prints and what you need to do to be able to create them. Um, so that, I like to think that street art is where I'm going and what I'm more about. And a, and a piece that the, um, for example, that's to our left and the camera should cut away to this now in this piece of film. <laughs> yeah. um, how from, from idea to completion, how long a process is that? It's completely, it's going it, to, it completely depends on how intricate the piece is. So, for instance, if it's only got one figure in and just a few bits, it could be from, it could take a couple of hours to sort of put the figure in the position and so on that you need it to be. And then really it's walking around the streets, finding a location and the right lighting, And because it, if it's raining, it's no good for me. Um, but if it's sunny, uh, you know, and it's good light and dry, and that's the, then you know, it's a good chance I'll find that picture. Quite often, it takes a few different times. I'll have to do the same picture in probably three or four different places, and then go back and decide what what background I actually like the best for that picture. Is this a business now? Is this a career? Is it, where are you with this? Uh, I run it as a business um, more so. Uh, obviously. I'm an artist and I absolutely love what I do. Every day of being able to do this is a complete dream. But at the same time, everyone's got bills to pay, I've got a life to live, and I want to progress. So if I was if I was a charity, I'd be giving everything away, getting no money for everything. But my thing is to build a career out of this. I've got ideas of where I want the pictures to go, how how big I want to make them um, and kind of ideas of how else I can develop whether it be into a product 
a smaller product that people can buy rather than a limited edition print or an original installation which will set people back you know a fair bit of money and sort of thinking that commercially how else I can look at it and that's where the business side I think comes into play much more. And you talk about size you know you could you envisage one of your pictures just being huge? Yeah. That's your big ideas. Yeah. Absolutely that's completely what I'm working towards. Um, at the moment I'm just preparing for a solo show in April so it just which is quite surreal really because I'm only a year into a full artist career and I'm going to have a, a fair size gallery all to myself for a month so already I'm looking at something that's um, about three metres by two metres in size for one of my pictures and then from then onwards I don't know I'd love to do things for billboards whether it be for companies you know, I've already talked to a few companies about working with their advertising campaigns and so on, so that's where I'd like to go and be able to create something that's billboard size, basically. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best in 2014, Roy. Thank you very much. Thank you.